that the door, it said, when Adam and Eve ate the fruit, that it opened up the door to sin and death. So before then, there wasn't no sickness and no death. Huh? That's what the Bible says. Because see, when they stepped into that place, it opened up the door to sin and sickness and death. So why not God will use a remedy and come back with the same thing that the enemy took for bad, turn it around for good and use food, which is this bread and this juice to bring healing. Because if you tell me a piece of fruit brought on sickness and death, why can't this bread and this shoes bring for healing? Come on. We got to wrap our mind around that. Because the word tells us that, that's what happened. A piece of fruit brought man into sin. How can a piece of fruit bring man into sin and to death? But it happened. And God is using, he left this behind for us. And he said, do it in remembrance. That's what the word says. He do it in remembrance. So every time we take this, we go in the place I'm remembering what he did for me. I just ain't taking it as a ritual no more. I just ain't taking it because it's first Sunday. Or, or, or you can take it anytime you get ready. That's it. Now I take it with my medicine that my doctor prescribed. I take this too. So my doctor gave me his and I'm taking what God gave me. I ain't going to be ignorant but I understand, okay, this man wasn't going to say, but you know what, this is what God said. I'm believing God, this is overpowering. This is doing the job. Come on. Because, see, the medicine that they gave me, I understand that it's only temporarily. The medicine only can do so much. Because, see, man ain't designed nothing to heal nobody because, see, that's how they make their paper. That's how they make their shovel. Huh? Because it's been so many times they didn't say that it's a, it's a cure for AIDS. Why they ain't got it out? Because of that dollar. I don't know what you think about all these pharmaceutical companies or all these every time you turn around a CVS or Walgreens going up. Why? Because people are buying that much medicine. Huh? Because see, people are relying on the drug. But right here, God already got a remedy. But we ain't got to go through all that. There's so many people that just that, 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 that believe in this and the power of what it stands for and they're walking in holders right now today. Hmm. I got here say it was and still is God's will for believers to be healed. Jesus walked the earth healing all who believed in him. And as we look at here, we think about even with the children of Israel. I got here say when the Israelites, they left Egypt, it is said about 2.5 million of them. They stay in the wilderness for 40 years and not one person will see. Now this is even before Jesus. But they stayed in the wilderness for 40 years and not one person was sick. How can that be? But in, in Egypt, they were sick. They died. They had sickness in their body. But when they got into the care of God, come on now, it said not one of them was sick. Read your Bible. Look at Acts 10 and 38. See, I don't know about nobody else, but I, I, I've been going through some things personally, and I, I, I choose to believe the word of the Lord. I, I, I choose to believe the report of the Lord. Come on now. Let God be true and every man be a liar. Acts 10 and 38, it reads and say. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. And it said that Paul said this for this reason, even going back to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Or going again, he said, for this reason, many are sick and asleep. And it showed that many Christians become weak and sick and die early because of not discerning the Lord's body. And going back again, not understanding what they stand for. Many Christians, we walk around sick, walk around going through in our body, walk around uh, 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 even tormenting our minds, even going through things generationally. We don't understand why we're going through it because we don't deserve it. And we take the communion monthly at our church or however we do it. But because we don't deserve, deserve the Lord's body, we still walk in that place of what we seek. What we go through in our bodies. But it's not God's will. And as I said earlier, the Corinthians, they did not understand why they was partaking of the Lord's body. 
when it came 